In this training you will learn how to download a recorded video from WebEx and convert it over to a YouTube video for your class to watch. The first thing that you need to do is go to cccs.webex.com. When you go there, you need to click on the host login button. Go ahead and put in your name and password. Once you've logged in, you will need to go to the Training Center area. Under the Training Center area, you will look on the left-hand side until you find My Training Recordings. Under My Training Recordings, you will see that there's a training or video of different lectures that you have given in your class. You will want to select each one of these lectures by clicking on the right downward black triangle and click download. When you do that it will prepare the file for download. Most likely you will see a pop-up screen asking you to open or save this document. You should go ahead and click Save As and for this demonstration I am just going to save it to my desktop. WebEx Training, you can give it a lecture name if you want and then you click Save. Now these are fairly large files so they should take a while to download. For the purposes of this training I've already downloaded my file. Here it is on the hard drive or on my desktop and I will need to now convert this file. Now once you've completely downloaded it to your computer go ahead and click on this right-handed triangle again and delete your file. It will ask you are you sure and you will say yes. At that point you are done with the WebEx portion of downloading your files. Remember if you have multiple files you will need to download each one of those files. Now that I'm done downloading the file I will need to go to my S drive. Here I am computer S drive and I'm going to look for the virtual classroom folder. I'm going to click on the virtual classroom and you're looking for this file called ARF player modified. Go ahead and drag and drop that file to your desktop saving this application. Basically this application will allow you to read the video you downloaded from WebEx. Once it is downloaded you go ahead and double click on that icon. Go ahead and work through the terms of agreement and the installation process. Put in your username and your email is good for that and your organization. Go ahead and click next. Say complete is fine and click install. Now if you are working on a school computer and you don't have the ability to install, you will need to ask your IT professional to help you with that. In addition, if you don't see the virtual classroom folder on the S drive, please let me know and we can get you access to that folder. Notice once I've installed that player, now my file has changed to a WebEx icon. I'm going to double click on that file. It's going to open up in a new window and you can see that it automatically started that video. So what we're going to do is go to File, Convert Format and say MPEG4. Now you want to go ahead and click Panels and Video so the students can see what you recorded and see your video panels, participant panels and such. And medium video quality is okay video codec H.264 is what you want and what you can do is schedule a time to convert this. Um, I highly recommend scheduling those for like later in the evening or maybe when you're going home for the for the night. So I'm going to schedule mine at 20 and that's military time 45 and I'm going to say OK. Now it's going to tell me that we have scheduled this recording to happen. When you come in the morning, you will see your YouTube file converted on your desktop.
At that point, you want to go back to your S drive, again, computer, S drive, and look for virtual classroom, and then look for the folder called for YouTube. At that point, you're just going to drag and drop your file into YouTube. I'd go ahead and make a folder for your particular class, and then from there, we will upload your file to YouTube and send you the link. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. My name is Ryan Wilson, and my number is 970-675-3288. Thanks for watching.